Jessica Camara makes her pro debut in Montreal on March the 30th. Welcome to the D.O. Boxing Show. I'm your host, Damon Ocposio. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. So on March 30th, 2017, we went down to the city of Montreal in Quebec, and we took in the fight card that was at the Montreal Casino. Shaquille Finn was headlining the card, but Jessica Camara debuted for her pro career uh, on that card. She was the second fight on the lineup. And she put in a fantastic performance, very dominating. If you're interested in looking at this fight, it's actually on my personal uh, Facebook page, Damon Ocposio. And you can scroll down. You know what? I post almost every day. So you have to scroll down a little bit. But I did tape it uh, through Facebook Live. And the full fight, which was four rounds, is on there. Um, Jessica was very dominant throughout the whole fight. Um, she showed uh, her skills her power and her punching and her footwork, and it was um, an exciting bout of boxing. It was the only women's fight on the card. So I'm gonna show you some clips of um, some interviews that were done with Jessica. And again, if you wanna see the fight, um, contact her to find out where she may have it. She may have the full fight. Or you can go on my personal Facebook page, and like I said, it's a Facebook live stream, but I saved it, and um, you'll be able to watch it on my page. So how did you feel in the fight? Like, you know, I seen from her expression that she felt that your power. Um, yeah. Did you feel that you were in command? Like, from, like, she was still competitive, but did you feel that you were in command with, in terms of your power? Yeah, definitely. I felt a lot stronger than her. Um, I've been working on, you know, slipping the, the right hand, coming back with the right hand. It was working perfectly with her, but I have a lot of power in the right hand, so... And you had a lot of good movement too. You did a good job of like cutting off the ring and keeping a, a good distance. Were you surprised at how agile she was though on her feet? Um, actually, I was. I wasn't expecting her to be that tough. But she took a lot of power shots and kept coming forward. But you know, you hear a lot of nice things like that. Oh well, man, she was there the whole fight. Actually, I didn't even tell them until the last round. <laughs> That's just how I am. I don't, I don't really like to to display my weaknesses, but um. He was just saying, you know, take defense. In the beginning, he was saying, take defense, throw your jab, um, go to the body. And then, as the rounds went on, he said, pressure her more. He said, you know, we can finish her in the third round. But my right hand was hurting, and I didn't tell him that. So I was trying to pressure her, but I felt like I couldn't really dig to the body as, as I'd like to, right? You seemed fresh in the fourth round. How'd you feel? Stamina -wise? I felt good. I felt good. I was just trying not to to use the right hand, so I was you know, like this, using my jab. See, as she was coming in, I was just throwing the jab, keeping her away. Hope you enjoyed the interviews. Remember, you can ask us any questions related to boxing by sending us a message through Twitter at d o k p o s i o or through email at posio at hotmail .com. Thanks for tuning into this episode. Remember, subscribe. Subscribe through YouTube to get every episode of the D-Hole Boxing Show. We'll catch you on the next one.